Hello, kindergarten of Greater Latrobe School District. I'm excited to introduce you to your first online art lesson. Today, we're gonna to be focused on the alphabet. I know this is something that you've worked very hard on all school year. You've worked on the shapes of the letters, um, recognizing and knowing what the sound is that comes with each of those letters. And we're gonna sort of take those skills you've learned and put them into an art lesson and an art activity. What we will do is find things. You could find 10 things, or if you wanna do the whole alphabet, if you get really excited and have a lot of time, you could do the whole alphabet. But we're gonna find things in your house, figure out what letter it begins with, and then draw the item. So for example, I have near me here, I've got a mug. Quite a dirty mug, isn't it? Um, I'm thinking of what letter the mug, the word mug starts with, and I believe it is M. So I'm going to write on my paper the letter M, and then I'm going to draw the mug. So I'm looking at this mug, and I'm looking at the shape of it. One of my favorite things about drawing, even artists as young as kindergarten, can always erase and edit if the lines they make don't quite match what they're seeing. So your eyes sort of always looking at what's in front of you and if it doesn't seem quite right, you can always erase and try again. It's one of the wonderful things about drawing. So I've got M done. And again, if you want to if you want to keep doing this, you could do 10 of these, you could do the entire alphabet. I've got a pair of scissors here. And I believe that scissors start with the letter S. So somewhere else on my paper, I'm going to give myself some space. I'm going to write the letter S. You could just do the capital if you want to if you want to also add the lowercase. You could do that as well. But I'm just looking at the shapes that are involved in a pair of scissors here. And drawing what I see, just letting my eyes sort of travel around the shapes. And I've got myself a pair of scissors near the letter S. Let me do two more with you, kindergarten. I hope you're liking the idea of finding things in your house, figuring out which letter matches that item. I've got my keys here, so I'm just gonna look at this key right down here. And I think that K key begins with the letter K. So I'm gonna write a K on my paper and I'm looking at all the little shapes. I'm gonna take my time on this one, looking at all the little shapes involved in drawing a key, remembering that if I don't get them quite right, I can always erase. Looks like my key's gonna run into my pair of scissors here. Maybe I can uh, fix that, make it look like it's going behind. But I hope you enjoy making these marks today. When I was in kindergarten, I loved to try drawing different things. And I hope you enjoy it as well. Again, the beautiful thing about drawing is you can always notice that it doesn't seem quite right and erase. So there's my key. I've got it near the letter K. Sorry, that ran into my scissors there. I didn't mean for that to happen. Uh, I'll, I guess I'll do one more with you. Here's A. Check this out. I've got a plant here. I think that the word p plant begins with the letter P. Do an uppercase and a lowercase for that. And my plant is sort of shaped like this. 
just letting my eye travel around trying to draw a plant which starts with the letter P it's in a little pot so I'll draw that also try to have fun with this kindergarten again if you only want to do a few of them that would be fine if you want to do one for each letter in the alphabet boy that would be great too but have fun with this again this is your first online art lesson it can be done on any sort of paper maybe you only have at your house a little piece of cardboard or maybe you have a ton of paper and uh, a lot of materials like markers or crayons you could always go back in and color these things I think that my mug if you remember was yellow so maybe I'll take time to color that in as well but you don't have to do that because maybe at your home you don't have those materials. Enjoy this kindergarten and try to have fun. Your art teachers will be excited to see what you've made when you're back at school. Thank you.